Hey guys, so it's the end of the night and I'm in my mom cave and I just wanted to talk to you guys. This is not a full day in the life type vlog. It's just how I'm feeling. Um, hopefully I'm not crooked. I feel like I'm crooked. Um, it's just been a lot going on. A lot of great things like spending time with my cousin who just bought a house and my friends and talking to them and stuff. But it's been a lot of stressful things going on that has been leading me to a little bit of anxiety and another thing that has been eating at me is my ADHD um with it with ADHD you kind of well without being on medicine I was a hot mess um I would start something then move to something else and start something then move to something else and start something then move to something else but now I do finish what I start, but I still get like distracted. Like I'll say, okay, I'm going to sit down for five seconds and look at TikTok and five seconds turns into 30 minutes. Or I'll say, oh, look at that. You know, um, uh, I, I, maybe I should promote my vlog some more. So then I go on a YouTube to try to see how to make better TikToks to get more followers or something like that. But then what I wanted to get done, I feel like isn't getting done. So my therapist said to make a list. And mind you, this is a Sunday. I'm on a two-week vacation. I'm not supposed to be really doing anything. But of course, on my two-week vacation, I made this long list of things that I wanted to accomplish. And unfortunately, with ADHD, we do tend to make more than the average like most people would just chill out it's sunday you know start things on monday but it's like no it's sunday i need to get this done i need to get in a routine with this i need to clean this i need to get this fixed and stuff like that like my mind is constantly going but then also i'm constantly getting distracted so it's at the end of the night and i feel like i didn't do anything but i did i wanted to finish the linen closet the linen closet is clean it's straight anything that's dirty is out of it you know, the bathroom, which is my lady cave that I'm in now, is clean. I just cleaned that. Um, I washed some clothes and got them, folded clothes, put them away. But in my head, it's always like, I call her negative Nancy, like, you're not doing enough, you know, because it was uh, emails that needs to be sent out that still can be sent out. Like, they still can be done tonight. I still have time to do it, but I just feel like I didn't do it at that moment because I got distracted. And these emails are about my kids. And when I get distracted about things that are supposed to be done for my kids, it really bothers me because it makes me feel like I'm not doing my job as a mom or I'm an unfit mom that I didn't send those emails as soon as those emails needed to be done. But I wanted to finish the linen closet because I didn't want to start something and not finish it. But it's like, what was more important, you know, the linen closet or your kids? But you, didn't, but then like what I, I, what I don't want is at the end of the night when it's time to go to bed, I have all these unfinished tasks and things are not moving as fast as I want them to go. But then on the other hand, I want to have fun. I want to go over my cousin's house. I don't want to just be stuck in the house by myself all the day, all the day long. Like I could have went over my girlfriend's house today, but I knew I wanted the linen closet done. I knew I wanted to clean my bathroom, but then I also wanted to clean the girls' bathroom and I also wanted to make sure that my room was straight and I wanted to, and I wanted to fix the vacuum, which I did. But it's just like a constant things that you want to do like my ADHD is good because it's like I think out of the box so I see something like when I go thrifting and I can vision like oh that will look good with that or that will look good with that but somebody be like you know that's just a dress but no if you add a belt or you do this like that's wonderful but then when it comes to like housework or chores or the kids or you know then thinking about like you know making sure that you have enough money to pay your bills and did you pay everything did you get everything done did you want to do everything but then it's like you deserve it you know you on your break so you want to get your nails done but then when i get my nails done then it's like oh that money could have went to this and it's just like i know i'm rambling but it's just like the guilt of it all and then on top of that i'm having i can't talk about it online but i'm having like people somebody just basically harassing me because I'm not being or acting the way that they think I should act, but I'm not going to back down. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to stand up. I've come too far to be treated like a child or to be uh, 
reprimanded because I didn't do what you thought I should do. So now you're going to threaten me. You know, I had that to deal with. So that piques my anxiety. But then on the other hand, I'm upset because I'm like, I shouldn't allow this person to have that much power over me. And nobody should have that much power over your life. You should be confident enough to do that. But it, 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 I'm not going to lie and say it doesn't affect me. It does affect me. But it, it, but I know that like if I wasn't on my medicine or if it was another space or time or a couple of years ago, it would have destroyed me. I would have been either committed again or laying in bed and not getting out. And I'm not doing that. Like I want to enjoy these two weeks that I, the, well, this week, last week that I have with, you know, before the kids get back, that way I can be the best mom that I can be. Like I have other things that I'm going to start school. Like I have so much stuff that I want to do and that I'm going to do, and I'm not going to let this deter me, but in the inside of me, I just want to cry and I just want to weep because it's just like, I just hate not feeling good enough. And I hate not feeling like I have accomplished enough or living up to the standards of maybe I know my house would be prestige if it was like my mother or, and I know you shouldn't compare yourself to other people, but it's hard to do so when you had people in your life that were so organized and just a little bit more, I don't know, sometimes it's just like, I like being me, but sometimes it's like, I don't want to be me. And then on top of that, you have dating life and that's just being in a relationship for 12 years and then starting to date again is very hard. And then especially in a pandemic and then on top of that, just the way that things are, like you're used to be treated a certain way, even if it wasn't the best, but you're used to being treated a certain way by your father, by your, your, your significant other and stuff like that. And then you just have these men who just, you know, hey, you got a big butt or, you know, instead of like trying to have a stimulating conversation, they just, you know, they, they might for five minutes can hold a conversation. Then the next thing is like, you know, what you doing, shorty? Like, you know, the, what is it, you know? And then there's these acronyms. <laughs> I know I sound like an old lady, but it's like HRU, like no one types in full sentences. And it's just like. A part of me is like, you know, when I was driving home yesterday, like, yeah, I would really like to come home and, and cuddle up with somebody and just, you know, relax and and be be with somebody. But then it's just like when you meet them, it's like, is there even a gentleman out there? Is there any anybody out there that you can even like do that even exist? Because now it's all like, well, what can you do for your man? And how can you please your man? And, you know, it's just like, like, sir, are, are you trying to woo me? Like, what what happened to that? Like, you know, like, I'm not, I didn't ask for you. I didn't ask to pursue you. You asked to pursue me. And then the other one's like, what kind of games you playing? Because they either been too hurt or seen too stuff or girls have tried to scam them. So you have to, it's just like, I have my own mental issues. I can't like, I can't deal with yours. Like, I'm just saying, hey, like, how are you? I'm just like trying to have a conversation with you and you like, you know, trying to be detective CSI. And I'm like, what? Like, you know, like, yeah, I was in this one situation and a, a guy walked in and had keys. You have the only keys to your, bro. like, nobody has keys to my house. And I know I am all over the place. I know I'm all over the place and I need to, relax and sit down and I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to put it up exactly how I feel. So I'm not going to edit it. It's going to be unedited. And you know, it's not like my views are a million people. So a million people is not going to watch this, but maybe one person or one mom or one individual that's going through dating in the, the 2000s and dealing with, you know, ADHD and dealing with you know, circumstances that are out of your control due to the fact that, you know, a person doesn't like the way you acted or handled something and, you know, they handled it the way that they feel like they have to and that's their business. 
you know, I'm not going into details about that because that's just that's out of my control with what they decide to do like that i can only just you know focus on me and my kids like my kids are about to start school i'm not going to focus on you know i have to get them school clothes and stuff like that i can't focus on what you're going through and how you feel and so you're going to state you know you care about the and it's just so hard and i know i said i'm not going to go into it but it, what kills me the most is that you say you love somebody you say you care about them yet you do the meanest things and you do it and say you do it out of love and you don't see that you're like right now we're in the midst of trying to get the kids ready for school and you're worried about you and your feelings and how you feel and on top of that you got you say i'm going to do what's best for the girls i love them but you're doing the most heinous things but you're using the word I love. Like, do you, do you even know what the word I love you means? Like, I, the, you're there, you know, like, I. <sighs> people are just people. And Joy, my cousin Joy was talking about love and, you know, to try to see things from people's point of view and to love them regardless of what they do. And it's very hard to love someone when they're just being them and they have to do what they have to do. But I have to focus, but that doesn't take away the severe anxiety. And the sad part is that the person knows you and they know you suffer from mental illness they know that that would or could hurt you. But one thing I can tell is that I'm getting stronger. You know, I wish I was a faster cleaner. <laughs> uh, I wish I, I could focus a little bit longer on one task, but I, at least I'm finishing a task that I wanted to start. So there was a list of tasks that I wanted to get done in the two weeks. And for the most part, I'm staying on task and I'm getting them done and, um, you know, today's Sunday, it wasn't a lot I could do, but Monday I'm like going to be back on it, but it's just guilt of not being a good mom is just, or someone hurting your babies or someone doing something to you or your children or not being there for your kids. That is the most scariest feeling in the world. And I, I just want to be the best mother I can be. And I needed this time to regroup, rethink, get things in order, you know, get me in order, you know, wake up and sleep. But even though they're gone, I'm still getting up at 745. I'm still, you know, you know, maybe I can lay in bed and I don't have to jump up and make breakfast or make sure that nobody's fighting or doing something crazy and stuff. But Stuff is slowly getting to where I wanted to go and I have more things that I want to do, but they're slowly getting to where I wanted to go. I can see the vision coming to life, but it's going very slowly because I still, I'm an imperfect person, you know, and we all are imperfect, but when you're a parent, it just, it's so much pressure and anxiety to be the best you can be because they need you. They need you and they don't understand mom can't do it because she has anxiety or mom can't handle it because she's stressed out or mom is sick or mom is shaking on the inside. They need to see, you know, even though they, it's okay for them to, to, you know, to say, hey, mom needs five minutes. But for the most part, they need you to be on your game. You know, they didn't ask to be here. I pray that that makes any sense. I've been writing in my journal, but I really just wanted to get it out and, you know, say it. And I'm not going to make a gr great thumbnail or, you know, put a snazzy title on this and stuff like that. This is just a midnight chat check-in. And yes, I have therapists, so I see her next week, <laughs> this week coming up. So I, I will talk to her about how I've been feeling. And, you know, I have I have a great a mental health support system, but it's still really hard trying to um, 
it's just really hard sometimes. It really can be hard. No, this is 14 minutes, okay. I have to go and finish what I started, some of the stuff that I started. But then I am going to lay down and watch something and enjoy. The most part is I need to enjoy this moment because, you know, when they're back, it's going to be like, go, 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 go. So, you know, I need to enjoy these moments, even though it's a lot going on that can disturb it. I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it hurt me. You know, nothing's going to deter me from being the best me I can be, even me. But sometimes it gets hard. And that feeling of anxiety is terrible. <sighs> I hate anxiety. I really do. I do not like it. So I don't like, I don't like pain. So I don't like the feeling of when my insides feel like, and I absolutely hate dating. <laughs> I hate it. Like, I just hate it. Like, it's no conversation. It's no, you know, stimulate. I love stimulating conversation. Oh, I need to get off. But I like, it's like, <laughs> and don't get me wrong. You know, I like a good, you know, hey, you look good in that dress. Or, you know, like, I love a good compliment. But it's just like, what's your favorite color? What's your boob size? Like, come on, brother. Give me a break. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just different. It's just different. All right, guys. I'll let you go. Bye.